Okay, so let's take a look at how you can check database size in SQL Server. So first thing, let's connect to the server and I'm connecting it through Windows Authentication. You can use your username and password if you want. Click connect. Next thing, on left hand sidebar you have Object Explorer. Right, so what we will do is we will simply right click on it and click on new query okay make sure you select the server here and right click to new query right it should open a new tab where you can run the queries now first thing we will be doing is we'll be running a store procedure named help db right so what we'll do We'll type in exec space then sp underscore help db then semicolon and we will execute this right and here you see within results what it will do is it will show you a database result right so basically it will show you the list of available set of databases master model msdb report server report server tempdb then only tempdb and few other databases and who gets to access them one being sa which is your server admin then your windows authentication accounts also their respective db ids right also there is date when they were created and their status like what type of access they have right rewrite then multi-user or single user then recovery simple full simple full version finally compatibility level right so that's one of the thing you get by executing the store procedure called help db there is also one more which we can test out which is sp for store procedure and then data basis use semicolon at the end right now what we'll do is we will execute and here you get the result for that and list of databases master model again all those eight databases by default then their respective size and remarks null 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 to all right now comes another store procedure we can manually execute where we can specify the size in mb if you want currently you can see the size is not listed in mb so we'll have to figure that out right so we have seen two queries where we are using store procedure called help db also store procedure called the sp underscore databases right so what we'll do we will run query which is select then use say name then comma sites comma then on next line we can go with sites in thing we use sites multiplied by 8 divided by 1024 right then within single quotes sites mp single quote close then we come out and type in max underscore sites and then finally we use from right from sys dot master files right and we use semicolon at the end right so in correct syntax near from so basically we will have to get rid of this comma right and it will go away now I can execute and here you see it will show me the results of our query which is basically showing the name of 
database then size and size in MB and maximum size so there is no limit on those temp folders along with those block folders maximum size set to minus one right and other databases however have some typical number two six eight four three five four five six something like that right so this was one more way for you to get the size size in mb and maximum size so with the maximum size as well you can get within specified mb or gb but currently as you can see the minus one goes to show that there seems to be no limit for these set of master files databases right so we have seen three queries for checking database size one being exec then space then store procedure help db exec then space store procedures underscore databases right so those two queries along with the third query where you get to check name size then size in mb and max size so all of that fetch from uh, master files from our systems right and you get the output something like this right so you get the idea how to check sql server database sizes okay there are a few more things we can do by checking the database size so there are multiple ways apart from running the query so you connect to your server then you have your databases under databases section right so you can expand that folder and here you see you have databases like report server report server temp db then test db that i created then i also imported one database name wide world importers right so if you want to check their respective disk size what you can do right click on that database then simply check for reports right and then you can choose from various available reports so we'll take a look at all these options so default one being disk usage how much space that particular database is taking so here you see total space reserved for this is 3.47 gb how much being used 192 being reserved for in memory transaction log 292 and 3 gb for space reserved for data file space right so apart from that you also have these charts then events this space used by data files primary and user data also you have those information related to in-memory data right so that's your disk usage report also right click on this then go for reports and then finally user statistics so this is not really directly related to our disk size but the user that is connected and how much time it has taken for accessing that particular database that data you can find then comes you another report which is standard for let's say disk usage so we'll go through all of them one by one so this one showing similar data to that of your reports disk usage right so we'll go to another report standard report then this space by top tables and data classification so currently we don't need classification yet we can take a look at that what exactly it is between data and here you see zero classified columns tables so nothing much there then comes right click on this again reports standard and then disk usage by top tables within that database so it will show you a big output with columns being table name record reserve data indexes unused right so these are cell invoices warehouse cell order lines right all of that data right when you close this tab you move back to here now then reports standard reports then this usage by table each table within the database consumes a specific space you will get that in output right so these are some of the things that you can get in report we'll also take a look at few more 
like this usage by partition so this is the last one where we are getting this usage or database site specific data you can see each table taking number of records then how much it is reserved and how much is being used in kbits right so you will have to create a different report with your reporting service for getting that in gb or mb or make a query for that right so that's one of the last record i think so i'll check one more if there is any so currently only these set of ones are specific to transactions and memory so not relevant for our database size or database usage specific so you get the idea these are some of the options that you can check from sql server